Hi there, welcome to Cape May and welcome to the Queen Victoria Bed and Breakfast. We're Doug and Anna Marie McMain and we own the Queen Victoria located in the corner of Ocean and Columbia Avenue right in the heart of beautiful Cape May. The Queen Victoria Bed and Breakfast is made up of four historic buildings all built in the 1870s and 1880s. Uh, they're all right next to each other right in the heart of town. Uh, we have 32 guest rooms all together and uh, each one of them is filled with beautiful antiques and uh, all the modern amenities too, but we like to make people, help slip them back into a quieter time. I love coming here because I kind of feel like I can get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and it's just you park your car and you can just walk around and stroll and come and go as you please and it's such a beautiful inn. Um, so we really enjoy it and we can leave our kids at home and really enjoy the time down here. You're going to have a great time when you come to Cape May and uh, it'll be a special moment, if you, but I warn you, if you come down once, you're going to be coming down a lot because most people kind of get hooked on it. We'll see you then. Here we are at Sunset Beach. It's a place where uh, many, many people come to find the Cape May Diamonds, which in reality are just quartz stones which wash down from the uh, Delaware River and end up here. Can you see the difference in the colors? Yeah. And there, exactly. So maybe we can find a bigger one. Uh, the clear ones, I think, are the most valuable, though, because they polish and cut them. We've been coming here for years as a family. We've camped here, and this year we're, we're renting a, a summer home, which is just absolutely fabulous. Uh, the price is great. It's, it's just a great place to bring your family. I, if you haven't been here, you got to get here. Enjoy it. Uh, it's nothing better than sitting down here on the beach, just looking out at the ocean, just listening to the waves. It, it doesn't get much better than this. My estate is set up much as it was in the 1890s and you would move room by room and in the course of doing that you would see several different types of Victorian interior decor. And there is a romantic element I think when you step back in time um, even though there wasn't maybe the electricity and the powers that we have today there were the beautiful candles and the, the music was very lovely and it has a romantic element to it. We have several types of tours here at the Emlyn Physic Estate. Sometimes self-guided, sometimes with a costumed interpreter, and sometimes based on living history characters, people from my Victorian era doing things. And we have activities all year round. So there is much to do here at the Aphysic Estate no matter what time of the year that you arrive here. And I look forward to greeting you when you do arrive. Hello, welcome to Cape May. My name is Margot Harvey. I'm from the Mid-Atlantic Center for the Arts. We're here in uh, Cape May Point State Park. The lighthouse, which is probably the main feature of the park, was built in 1859 and there's 199 steps to the top. It's one of the most romantic places to go in all of Cape May. I think the scenes, the views up top are really pretty and um, I think it's just a nice kind of romantic moment that you can take a lot of pictures with the picturesque view in the background. So I think it's a great place for couples to come. And the wedding we went to last night was actually out on the beach so I think that's kind of what inspired us to come and check out more of the town. The Cape May Lighthouse is a wonderful marriage of romance as well as maritime history and you can get both here and you should everyone should come and see it for themselves it's absolutely wonderful <laughs>